Hi there, Internet. My name is Court, and you've got Courtside Seats for my review of The Boys, Season 2, Episode 5. Let's do it. This freaking show. It just keeps getting better. Again, if you've been watching these reviews, you know this, but just for anybody who's new, for the sake of spoilers, I am randomizing the character posters in my thumbnails. So just because you have Frenchie in the thumb doesn't mean that he's got a major role in this episode. I got you. The Queen Maeve storyline that I keep really vaguely referring to, it just keeps getting better. And by better, I mean more gross and yeah. But Dominique McKellicott is selling it so well. She's so good in this season. The Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez stand-in is back. I believe her name is Victoria Newman. And the actress Claudia Dumit is doing a killer job of really becoming AOC. We even get a subtle as a hammer to the face reference to the AOC college dancing video thing. I thought that was great. And Homelander is still flexing like a lot of this season. He's still being really needy. I love seeing him as powerful as ever, but still questioning himself. I'm getting like legit Dennis Reynolds vibes. And I've mentioned before that this season is taking some pot shots at Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. And that really gets pushed up in this episode. It's absolutely delightful. It's funny. It's meta. I love it. We're also introduced to an elderly woman. She does not work behind the counter in a small town. If one person gets that joke, I'll be happy. But we immediately understand how she fits into the story. And she's absolutely hilarious. There are also a couple jokes involving a dog that made me laugh out loud. We also get a very funny and awkward payoff to what was happening with the Deep in the last episode. I dug that. Now, Black Noir hasn't had all that much to do this season after the first episode, but he's got a lot more to do here, and I dug him. He's scary. Further, I am loving Carl Urban as Billy Butcher this season. I mean, I loved him in the first season. I think he's even better here. He's still as profane as ever, dropping the see you next Tuesday word at any given chance, but he also has some really lovely little character moments. Finally, let's talk about Kamiko. She's had some great bits throughout the series, particularly this season, she's amazing in this episode. I won't give you any details, but it's both action and emotion, and she crushes them both. I'm so impressed with Karen Fukuhara on this show. She's able to convey so much without ever speaking a word. Fantastic. And I know that I keep coming back to Stormfront, but I am so locked in on this character, and I love how the show keeps positioning her in different ways. We see her public persona, and her private persona, and her personal persona, and they're all kind of unique. And watching Aya Cash bring this character to life is an absolute joy. And the ending of this episode, it's been kind of hinted that it might be going in this direction. It goes there, and it was entertaining as hell. So those are my thoughts on The Boys Season 2, Episode 5. Now, I want to know, of the four that you've presumably seen by now, which is your favorite, or do you have a favorite moment in these first four episodes? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, The Boys, all that good stuff. I will be reviewing the remainder of the episodes this season. I'll put each one up a couple days before they air, so check back for that. Hope you guys are all safe and healthy. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.